Hello Power Rangers Lightning Collection fans and welcome back to Rangers of the Universe. I'm Chris and the Aquatar Rangers are here. They are they have come in full power using the powers of water and the powers of light. So the box on this is absolutely gigantic. It is a five pack plastic free packaging. So you have the Lightning Collection logo in the at the top. I do really love the artwork on this. Now only thing is, yellow Tidious, the yellow Equation Ranger, the triangle right there is supposed to be black. Now on the figure, it is correct. It is black, but right there it's gold. So that is misprinted. It is not accurate to the figure. Now also looking at the box art, I really do love the look because it gives that space look. Like you have the spaceships, you have the planets, you have all five Equation Rangers, and then a nice water cliff backdrop that they did on it. So this definitely is an amazing box art that I really do love with it. Now, also on the side we have the Alien Rangers logo and then all five helmets of the Alien Rangers. And then on this side we have the Lightning Collection logo, the Alien Ranger logo, and then Mighty Morphin Alien Rangers. And then trying to show off the back, let's go one by one. We have the Yellow Equation Ranger, Tidious. In the 6.25 scale, Orico, the Red Ranger, is 6.29. Delphine, the Yellow Ranger, is 5.9 inches. Cestro is the Blue Equation Ranger, 6.25 inch scale. And then Corcus, the Black Equation Ranger, is 6.29. Now, they all come with the exact same accessories. The only difference is the effect piece. So, white, black, have sword effect pieces and then blue red and yellow have blaster effect pieces so they come with they each come with the blaster the little knife saber type of thing and then their big sword their usual sword and then they all come with alternate hands so they all have the weapon holding hands and then corcus and Tidious have closed fists um, Cestro and Orico have like half open hands, like kind of palms. And then Delphine has fully opened hands. So that is the box art for the Equation Rangers. Now, the inside of this box is definitely something that I did not really like how the packaging was. I'll show off with my figures in a bit. But it was just the figures and accessories taped onto cardboard and... When you went to take them out of it, it did cause some bending. Which, let's get on to the figure review so I can show more of what happened with that. So, let's go ahead and get started on the Equation Rangers. Alright, so here we have the Aquatar Rangers. Full power with all of the accessories. So, there is a lot to take out of the box. As I said, it's all taped onto this giant piece of cardboard in there. And... Definitely had to use scissors, box cutter, anything and everything to get out. Now, first off, I'm going to start with Tidious because he was the one where I saw the most issues with. Now, if you look at here, you know, in my past review videos, since we've gotten the plastic free packaging, I've talked about like joints bent in, like going sideways in type of thing, because now they're held into pieces of cardboard. Well, here, it's even worse because they're taped onto the board in the box. As you can see here, I think the biggest example of is the right arm. You can definitely see it's bent in like that. It makes mobility, like I have to be very gentle with it because of how it's bending inward. And it looks like it's just an issue with the plastic too inside of here. It looks to be an issue with the plastic all around. Now, the Equation Rangers, they did not come with head sculpts. As you saw from the box when I showed that off, we did not get any of the Equation Ranger head sculpts, which is extremely disappointing. I would have liked to see how they would have come out, but there are none with the set. Now, overall, so for the four males, so for yellow, black, blue, and red, they are double-jointed knees and elbows, and they are not pinless. They do have the pins. So, first off here, we're looking at Tidious, the Yellow Ranger. You have, now, in Cock Ranger, 
they used power coins that were granted by Ninjor. So, that would be the Yellow Equation Ranger's power coin right there, his logo. And then you have the Yellow, yellow Equation Ranger helmet, the black diamond there, the Equation logo. And then you have the bands. Like, the paint is very, very accurate on these. I am very happy with that, the accuracy on them. The packaging was just highly disappointed. Highly disappointing for me. I don't think... I think they could have done a better job with the packaging. Now, overall, I do not have any loose joints. Tidious came out pretty well done. So, let's get Tidious in a pose. And again, showing the weapons. Tidious has the blaster with the blast effect piece. The saber... So, all the sabers come in. Now, all my sabers, they came in bent, again, from the plastic and how it's held together. I'll eventually run them under some hot water to get them straightened out. And they all come with a sheath. So, you can plug the sheath right in there. On their backs, they have a hole. So, you just plug that in. And you can display them like that. And then... Go ahead with whatever weapon you want them with. Now, him, I'll go with... Let's go ahead and put the blaster in his hand. So, we have Tidious right there. So, Yellow Equation Ranger. Tidious. And then, he, there's the Blade Effect piece. They also all come with the holster that you can put either the blade in... Or the blaster in. Whichever. And then he has the closed fist. Alternate hand pieces. Now moving on. Let's go to Orko next. So Orko is the Red Ranger. For the Alien Rangers. Now he is not the leader of the team. Even though he is the Red Ranger. The leader of the team is the White Ranger Delphine. So. And fun fact for anybody that did not know, in the Forever Red special, in the original script when it was supposed to be a multi-part, it was supposed to be more than a one-parter, Orko was going to be killed in it. Obviously that did not happen, they made it one episode only, so Orko was not killed in it. Leo was also going to be, which I would have been devastated for, but Orko was not killed, so... Like Tidious. So Tidious has a triangle on his forehead. For Orko, it is a circle. He has the gold diamond, the gold triangle. And then he has an S Power Coin logo right there. And again, double jointed knees and elbows have that uh, nice stiffness to them. I do not have any looseness in the joints, which happy to see about. He did come in. Orko was pretty good. It was mostly Tidious where I had the trouble with. And then again taking a look at Orko's accessories. Let's see. Usually their pose is when the Alien Rangers first get there. Let's see if I can. So they'll go like that. So when they first get on the scene the Alien Rangers gather. They do the Power of Water, Power of Light, Rangers of Aquitar, Full Power. And they have one hand on the Saber and one hand. So one hand at the top and then one hand at the bottom of the Saber. So like this. Let's see if I can get him in that pose to be able to do it. So it's hard to because of the way you're bending him. But... You can definitely get it done. So, going to get that. I'll put him in that pose. And how about I'll uh, put him with his trusty blade right there in the pocket instead. And then he has these open hand pieces. So, you can uh, use these to um, pose him out. Use a signature stance. And that is the red Aquatar Ranger, Orico. So, I really do love the look of him. 
Oracle was probably, of these five figures, Oracle is probably the one I think came out the best of it. Came out with the packaging the best. The uh, least bending to him. So, I am extremely happy with that. Now, next we'll go with Corcus. So, the helmets for all of them do also have, like, a shine to it. Like, it's a... This is more of a... Let's see, how do I put it? More of, like, a black. And then this, is like, has a shine, like, mate black to it. His is a... What is it? A pentagon. Right there. And that is his power coin logo. Right there, like, kind of a pentagon with some black shaded in there where it breaks off. And then he has the white trim around the boots. The paint job on these are pretty good. So the double jointed with pins, knees, and elbows. So you see that? It looks absolutely fantastic. I really do like this figure. So with Corcus, we have the closed fists, alternate hands. We have a... So... This lime green saber effect piece. He is one of two with the saber effect piece. And from with Oracle, I didn't go over. He has this blast effect piece, yellow in color. So, as you can see, I've got uh, Tidious over there with blue. If you want to color code it, you can put yellow over to him. Give blue to uh, Cestro. And then Cestro's got a pink one. But for him, it is a lime green kind of color of it. So, I have his blaster in there already. When I took him out of the box, I put it there. Going to put the saber in right here. Let's go ahead, take the saber out for him. Show it. He came. His is perfectly straight, which is nice to see. Put the saber. Let's display him with the saber. You know, make it all different. Going to have it like that. As with all of them too, we have the usual ankle articulation and shoulder articulation. And you've got the hips with the chest articulation right there and the hip joint articulation right there too. So you do all have that usual articulation we have in the Lightning Collection with all of our figures. So it is nice to see. The Alien Rangers, I think it was, we got them much earlier in the line than I had anticipated. I didn't expect to see them this soon. You know, it does suck that they don't have any head sculpts. But at least also the Alien Rangers are being acknowledged this early on. And this is our second five pack in the Lightning Collection line. Now, here's probably the Alien, the Alien Ranger that had the most screen time and played the most pivotal role. A uh, Cone's friend of Billy, Sestro, who often helped Billy out. Billy and him work together on technological things. He's definitely the most technologically advanced, I'd say, of the Alien Rangers. Who He's like their tech person. Now, the logo on the helmet is a square. You have the usual Alien Ranger logo, the gold diamond. His Alien Ranger power coin right there. And then you have the double jointed knees and elbows like usual. And overall... It's just a fantastic looking figure. We're going to go ahead. Put the saber on the back. And let's go ahead and put the blaster in his left hand. Alright, let's get this back in there. Put the saber blaster in his left hand. I'm going to also display him with the blaster. All right, so we have Sestro, the blue Aquatar Ranger. Now, also with this set, having the complete Alien Rangers all at once, if you want on your display, you can, now that we also have our full Zeo Ranger team, you can recreate the Rangers of Two Worlds team up from Power Rangers Zeo where the Alien Rangers team up with our Zeo Rangers of Earth. So, now also a big possibility with the Equation Rangers being done, the timing of it in the Lightning Collection, you know, with Cosmic Fury in the Fall coming out, we have 
Rangers going to our Cosmic Fury team in outer space. Now, a planet we could see is Aquatar. We know Billy is appearing in the show. In Once and Always, Adam Park mentioned Aquatar to Billy, where the captured Rangers that were captured by Robo Rita are going to Aquatar to heal. So, we have Rangers on the planet Aquatar that are in healing. Billy is going to be in Cosmic Fury, and Aquatar was mentioned of Sestrio missing him there. So there is a high possibility too that we could see Aquatar in Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. That is a possibility. Now going over Delphine, the only female ranger of the team. The only one with the female sculpt. Now taking a look at her, that is her power coin right there. It's more circular. She has a like inverted sideways triangle type of thing. Kind of like an arrow right there. Let's see. Get the quill. Yep, so she has kind of like an arrow band on the head. Delphine is the leader of the team. Now, she has that usual hip articulation there, too. She is the only one that is pinless, double jointed knees and elbows. Now, Delphine, the thing, too, is I do have a little looseness right here on the leg. She did have a little bit of it. That's about it. Just Delphine kind of does. Now with her, it is harder to get her stand also because of the fact of my uh, legs are a little in the loose end. Like they move out sideways when I try to stand her up. So let's see if I can get her just displayed standing upright. And with her, she comes with the usual saber. So she has the saber as well. She has open palmed hands, fully opened. She has a red saber effect piece, which you could always put on your Orico to color match with him. And give that little purple one to a uh, Corcus instead. You know, black with purple kind of thing. And then I'm going to go ahead and give her... Let's give her the saber as well. You know, Oracle's feeling alone on having this saber in it. Let's give her, uh, actually, let's give her the saber in hand. You know, somebody's got to have this in their hand too. Showing it. Have them each displaying a weapon. So, she's got the little blade with her. So, we're going to do that. Let's move those pieces to the side. That aren't being used. Let's try to stand her up. And get her into a pose. Now. Alright we got all of them standing. Let's try and fit them all on here. So we can show all of them. In their glory. Now we're going to go with. Orko there. And then. Try and fit. Corcus. And then Sestro. Let's try with Tidious. Can we get them all on here? Let's see. All right. We fit them all on here. All right. We have all five Alien Rangers of Aquitar. The Alien Rangers wield the power of water, the power of light. They came in Mighty Morphin to assist our Rangers when they lost their powers and returned to kids. And, you know, the Alien Rangers, they didn't have much screen time. But I thought they were definitely very cool. I thought they were interesting. I definitely would have liked to see more of them. Who knows? Maybe, hopefully, we will get an appearance of them in Cosmic Fury in some way, shape, or form. Even if it's just a bunch of suit actors and they're only helping out for a bit or something like that. I would love to see them again. I do think these suits are pretty cool. I think they're pretty sleek and really have that ninja look to them. That, you know, obviously we didn't get Cocker Ranger really adapted. We only saw these suits for a short period. Now, as I said, you know, Big Bang quality control was a big thing of mine. Tidious, I am definitely not happy with how he came out with it. That arm is really bent in. It does not look right. Other than that, the others came in pretty well. It's just a lot of warped weapons. But, I mean, 
that's been heavy since plastic free packaging. You know, I definitely think they could have done better on the inside of the box. A lot of tape was used, which made it really easy for the stuff to bend. Outside of that, you know, I think the figures were pretty good. 120 for all five of these figures, which is, you know, I mean, price wise, it's understandable, but I would have liked to get head sculpts with them. I think they just didn't want to do the Alien Ranger look to them because I get. The equation head sculpts probably would have been pretty difficult and they definitely I don't think would have had accuracy because of the like the fish mask s look to them. But overall, you know, I wish we did at least get the equation head sculpts. Even if they did suck, it would have been cool if they gave them a chance and we did get them and they tried. But overall, I think it was I think this was an excellent pick for our second five pack in the Power Rangers Lightning Collection line. Now in the future for five packs, my go-to, I have said it before, I would love to see five packs used for team power-ups. You know, we got the Lights of Orion, uh, Super Dino Mode, Swap Mode, Legend Mode for Mystic Force. I mean, these are modes that, you know, they're not figures, they could be exclusives because they're not something everybody's going to want because it's just copies of figures we've already gotten with their power-up modes but I mean they are good five packs to make exclusives because they're for the fans that want that extra mile of their favorite team and I mean swap mode super dino mode lights of Orion those are 100% ones I'd get they look they all look amazing especially lights of Orion is my favorite I went ahead and bought custom pieces on Etsy from Ranger Forge but overall Getting back to this five pack, I mean, it is definitely a worthwhile set. It is currently sold out on Hasbro Pulse. It is an Amazon exclusive with limited quantities on Hasbro Pulse. Now, as I said, it's sold out there. Who knows? It could possibly become in stock again at some point. But for now, it is currently out of stock. I believe it is still in stock on Amazon, though. So. If you haven't picked it up, I definitely say go ahead and pick it up. Because, you know, even though there are quality control issues with this, and also I didn't really point out, the neck joint on her is huge. Like, the space in between her compared to the others is wild. Like, look at Sestro compared to Delphine. You definitely see a noticeable difference. Now, with this being an Amazon exclusive 5 pack, you know, our only other one is the Cycle Rangers. And that goes for a lot of money because Psycho Black, Pink, and Yellow are only exclusive to that 5-pack. Now, I do not see these being, like, repacked again in waves or anything like that. So I would say go ahead, if you're interested at all in this, go ahead and order it now. Get a hold of it because I only see this one going up in price. Now, that's all for this video. I mean, I've went over everything about them. They're all pretty similar. The only big differences are obviously the belts that have their different power coin logo and the helmet plate that has a different symbol on it as well. I mean, they all come with the same blaster weapon, the same little blade, their same signature sword, and then it's just, you know, we have Oracle and Cestro with the same alternate hands. We have Tidious and Corcus with the same closed fist. And then our leader Delphine with the palms. So, overall, you know, some cool accessory pieces. Saber effect piece, blaster effect piece. That's all for the set. Overall, I do recommend getting it, picking it up. And, I mean, I absolutely like it. So, also, be sure to check out my Wave 14 uh, review videos that I've done the SPD yellow lost galaxy yellow. I've got more like we have um the rest of the Cobra Kai shipping out into this month So I'll be getting those in doing reviews on them. I'm still planning on picking up Messagog. I've got a bunch of other videos in the works So be sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel ring that bell for notifications now also be sure It's also in the description below check out our Instagram and Twitter page at rangers underscore of the underscore universe for all channel news and updates so hit that follow button and any questions you might have anything you want to see on the channel you can personally message me on there and i will respond take 
any critiques, I'd love to find out what you guys would love to hear me talk about too. Any special requests will be done. I would like to hear about them. So be sure to follow me on social media. Before I forget, also, if you did pick up this set, let me know in this description below how much how you like it. Did you have any quality control issues? Is your checking out is yours checking out all great? Let me know what you think of the Alien Rangers in the Lightning Collection line and what you hope to see for our next five pack because I do hope we get another one. I think five packs are a cool way of busting something out, getting it out fairly soon, making it easily accessible. I do agree it's a good way of doing that. So that's all for this video. Be sure to stay tuned for any Power Rangers, Super Sentai, and Tokusatsu content. And I'll see you soon with more.